Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So I'm in the parking lot of our mall. It's at night, nobody's here. Generally speaking, nobody's at the mall anyway. But I'm going to do a, a something, a video about parking lots eventually because 10.69 is doing okay with parking lots right now. We'll see how it does in this. This is a very empty parking lot. I expect it'll actually go down to the end and take a left out of here. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to the Dollar General that I did the left-hand turns out of the other day and I'll put a link to that video if you're interested. Yeah, actually pretty good. It's doing okay. Anyway, this is 10.69.2.2, which I just downloaded. I actually recorded something coming home from work, but my camera decided to stop functioning. So I recorded 20 seconds of it, of the like 10 or 12 minute drive, and it was very disappointing to get home and realize that it had not recorded anything. So instead, we're going to do something after dark or at sunset and after dark. So it looks cool on the display. Let me go ahead and, oops, do that. So we've got bigger display. But anyway, so I'm going to go to the Dollar General, then I'm going to turn around and come back so it has to make that left-hand turn, which is utterly terrifying. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like, you know, make my hands all, all jiggly from, from uh, even trying that. But, oh, and there's a, I guess, oh, it's a deer. I thought for a second it was a dog. It was so small, but it's just a little baby. Full fawn. Fawn. Not full. That'd be a horse. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so we should have relatively easy going up to the Dollar General, but then coming back out of it will be a problem. So, uh, as you can see, it got out of the parking lot, no problem. I'm going to, I don't know if it can get out of the Dollar General parking lot. I guess we'll give it a shot. There's, it's kind of got a pass through, so it should be able to go. Obviously, the car can't do reverses yet, so that's, you know, you can't ask it to do that. But you notice that what I did was I faced myself forward in the parking lot, but it can pretty well handle like most of the parking lots I've been in, it is handled reasonably well. The only problem is that sometimes it wants to drive 25 miles an hour in a parking lot, which is a little bit on the excessive side. <laughs> but again, you can see it thinks it's 25 here. This this road is actually a speed limit of, the one that I was coming down is a speed limit of 50 miles an hour. And so it's very, very annoying when it, uh, I don't know what turn, but we had already started into our turn. So basically that was a turn on red, which was good. I mean, that's completely legal in the way it should work. And um, so uh, the Dollar General is a mile from here. So yeah, so this should be relatively easy. And again, this is at night, so the traffic is relatively light. About, what is it, eight o'clock right now? So, you know, somewhere around five o'clock or so, this is just a complete nightmare to get out of this left-hand turn that's coming up. But we should be able to do it without hopefully too much trouble up here. <laughs> anyway, oops, okay. If you don't know, I've got my left hand generally speaking over here holding the steering wheel and just jiggling it just a little bit every once in a while because the uh, the car that's how you tell it that you're actually paying attention and also in addition to that there's a camera up here and so it will um, it will let you know <laughs> if you look down it's gotten very very sensitive even if I like look down and like sometimes what I'll do is I'll pick up the phone just to like turn on YouTube or music or something like that and as soon as I pick it up it's like pay attention to the road so it's like instant now there's no there's no leeway you're uh, you're pretty much stuck with that so all right, so let's see how it handles this guy turning right. By the by, better driving would, of course, have been to have been in the left-hand lane while we were behind that guy and letting the car go, but I would certainly have gone in the left-hand lane. So, you know, <laughs> perfectly safe, but not as efficient this way. There is also a truck not terribly far behind me, so I hope that this thing turns on its turn signal because this turn is very quick and it's very hidden, which is the reason why it's so nasty getting out of here. So to put on its turn signal and let this truck know what we're doing. Please do that, please do that, please do that. A little bit late on that turn signal. Yeah, okay. You'll see the truck going whipping by me. Yeah, that was a little late on the turn signal. I don't know what it'll do. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of autopilot, but I'm curious what it'll do now. Let me, uh, let me flip to something else. Let's see. Um, um, Mall of Georgia. No, 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 no. That's not right. <laughs> Good goodness, that'll take me all the way to Atlanta. Georgia Square Mall. Got to get the correct one here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's see what happens. It should be able to hopefully get us out of this parking lot. And it's uh, quite a violent turn here. Let's see if it can handle it. So basically... <laughs> okay, it didn't like that. As it turns out, this is a... Um, so yeah, it does not like U-turns. 
So that didn't quite count as a U-turn, but it basically was a U-turn. And the problem is that now I have to back my way out of here because <laughs> it's a dead end road, as you can see. So anyway, that was interesting. That, um, you know, I guess is a little bit too much because again, the, the car's not really rated to do U-turns yet, but that was something that it probably <laughs> perhaps should have handled better than that. All right, so let's see, there we go. Okay, so now we are coming out to the crazy left-hand turn. And again, there's a, there's a car, as you can see, coming up there. So there's cars coming there. There is a middle suicide lane. So there's two lanes, the, the turn lane in the middle, and then two more lanes. I discovered, I thought, you were, I thought you were legally allowed to sit in that middle lane coming out, but um, that is not the case at all. So let's see, it should be able to go now. All right, that was pretty good. I mean, that handled it well. Again, it, it handles that turn relatively well as long as there's not a ton of traffic and as long as there's not people in that middle uh in, in this lane up here then that causes problems for it but that was actually pretty decent uh i'm trying to think if i can go someplace into some neighborhoods um let's see Joke. university 16 theaters So, um, so what this should do is it should drive up here and it's going to want to get on the highway, I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to force it not to get on the highway. So I'm going to disengage it for just a second and force it to get on this back street because the back street has got a lot of construction and a lot of kind of, you know, <laughs> just interesting. It's very windy. It's got construction on it, etc. So you can see this guy here in the middle. I thought that that was actually completely legal, but apparently it is not. But I think sort of de facto it's legal because everybody does that. <laughs> it's sort of like that thing about not actually stopping in the middle of an intersection when you're turning left. You're not really allowed to do that, but pretty much everybody does. So it's one of those things. Anyway, it was something I learned. I did not know that uh, unless somebody has something that supersedes what people were telling me. But apparently you can only use this yellow dotted line middle lane to make turns. You can't use it to, um, to come out and then pause there and then move over. You have to pass through it right away. So anyway, learn something new every day. <laughs> I've been driving that way my entire life. So, <laughs> and nobody has ever even batted an eye at me. So whether or not it's legal, I guess the problem would be if you had an accident, it would be who was at fault and you would definitely be at fault if you were pulling out. But in general, that would be the case anyway, if you were pulling out and making a left-hand turn. So. All right, so eventually the car is going to attempt to get over into the right lane. But like I said, I'm going to disengage it and force it to go up to this back road so that it stays on city roads because the highway is rather uninteresting. It kind of, uh, it can handle that, no problem. And of course, we're waiting for version 11 to come up where we are going to get the, uh, the full stack with the highway, at least according to Elon Musk, that's what's going to happen. So we will see. Anyway, as you can tell, it's completely handling these larger roads interesting so now it's trying to get over because it needs to get over to the highway uh, it's fascinating how this is never quite fast enough if I was actually going to be turning on the highway I would want to be over into the other lane already so again like I said as soon as this thing gets going past this red light I'm going to um, uh, disengage autopilot so that I can force it to go past and go to the, the more back roady area but <laughs> hopefully it won't attempt to get into this lane too quickly Actually, it should be attempting to get into this lane. As soon as it does, I'm going to disengage it. Interesting. So, it, yep, okay. So I just disengaged it just to get in. So normally what it would do is it would get over there, follow these guys, and go around that way. But what I want to do is force it to go past this next light and make a right. There's a nasty area that it has to go through that way. Not nasty, but it's just more interesting than the highway. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> All right, I think it may just be, let's see, okay. Now it should definitely go the correct way, I hope. Hopefully it's rerouted. Let us see. Ah, okay. oh, unfortunately that guy stopped. <laughs> I never can quite figure out people who stop like that short at a, red, at a yellow light because he definitely would have gotten through and then we could have tried out the whole uh, turning right on red thing, which we should have been able to do, so. Oh well, all right. So now we get, we get a green light instead of a red light. So we get the freebie on that turn. And, okay, good turns. I mean, they're very smooth. 
not jerky. Uh, between 2.1 and 2.2, it's really hard to tell. I've only driven it a few miles, so it's a little difficult. Honestly, between getting 2.1 and 2.2 was not that long anyway. It was just, just a few days ago, so I have not had a huge amount of time to even get used to 69.2.1. But 69.2.2 apparently is going out to a lot of people. I think Elon said 160,000. So it's going up to a much larger group than the original group of testers. And if you finally got it, congratulations, good for you. It's very exciting to get this stuff. And uh, as you can see, you know, it's not terrible, but it's a little bit of a windy road back here. So it's interesting to take a look at. And yeah, it's doing okay. I wish it would inside bias these turns just a teeny bit, but that, honestly, that feels better. Okay, let's see how it handles this, because obviously this is a much more violent turn. So see how it's hugging the outside? You can even see in the line, it's like almost up to those yellow lines. So it feels to me like what it needs is to, is like apex the turn just a little bit in instead of out. And let's see how it handles this one. So yeah, it tends to flow a little bit too close to the outside of the turns, whichever way you're going, from, in my opinion. All right, so it should follow this car up here in front of us that doesn't appear to have any headlights. <laughs> I don't know. And let's see how it handles this unprotected left. It's a little funky because there's an island in the middle. All right, good. And it modeled that island out so it could see it. Yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah. That was excellent. It has had some significant problems with that intersection. I don't know why it's a very, very open intersection, but making an unprotected left and even an unprotected right, it doesn't seem to like that hardly at all. So I, I'm not sure why, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it should be that difficult of a problem, but it has always given it trouble. So 10.69 seems a, a significant improvement to, uh, to that. And cool. Now, I'm going to let this keep going for just a little bit because, you know, I should have actually told it the supercharger, that would have been even better. But I want to see what it does about the parking lots here because, all right, so let's take a look. So it should, we should get to go straight through, actually, let's take a look at what it thinks. Yeah, so this should navigate us through the parking lot because everything after this, whoops, everything after this is uh, is parking lot. So. What it should do to get us to the movie theaters, which is actually straight in front of us, you can pretty well see it there. Let me just check this and make sure this is still running. Oh, good. <laughs> it's a positive. Uh, anyway, but you can see the movie theater in front of us, but we have to kind of wind our way through a parking lot. So I'll be very interested to see how it handles this. One thing I'm curious about right now is the speed limit it still says 45 miles an hour. <laughs> That's a little intense for a parking lot. So let's see what it does. Hopefully, if it doesn't turn it down, I'm going to turn it down manually because I do not want this thing trying to take a parking lot at, uh, well, I mean, it says 45, but it's certainly not driving quickly. So let's just wait and see what happens. <laughs> I'm ready to take over in any second. The parking lot thing, I have never really let it drive through parking lots prior to this version of the software. So good stop, gentle, gentle, very gentle. Not sure quite why it's taking so long to make this turn. It really shouldn't, but... Um, again, it might be because it's not really marked. It doesn't seem quite as confident in parking lots as it might otherwise be. So let's see how it handles that. And you can see the movie theater coming up here. So if, at some point it's gonna run out of navigation, but oh cool. <laughs> I think it may actually take us close to an actual parking space. A <laughs> uh, little bit jerky, but okay. And I have no idea where the navigation's gonna end. So if I'm just, I'm just ride it out. Let's just find out. Oh, interesting. Okay, all right. <laughs> Maybe it'll get us right up to the door. Oh, that'll be awesome. Well, how about that? That starts to feel like a robo taxi. Again, it still says 45, but um, it's not driving that speed at all. So, okay. Oh my gosh. And like literally that's where it ends. So I guess I'll, I'm gonna pull over for just a second so I'm not like sitting right in front of traffic, but that was fabulous. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to do an entire video just on parking lots because I think it's been really fascinating to see how it works. But that was really cool. I mean, that part was the best part of the whole drive was the fact that it navigated through a parking lot, even though it was relatively empty and it did that. As far as the feel, I mean, it feels very much like 10.69 has. It's uh, very smooth, very human. 
a little bit jerky in some places, but generally speaking, really good. And it handled that left-hand turn. I know it was easy because there wasn't a lot of traffic, but still it did it with confidence because it's got to come out of there and make that turn really quickly because you can't see to the left. So I, I'm going to give this a really big thumbs up. I'll try to record this tomorrow morning when I go into work as well, just to get another sample with busier traffic. But I would say, you know, After Dark 10.69 has done really well. So good job, folks.